A weekend hit and run in Roswell sent two women to the hospital in critical condition. It happened in a neighborhood as the two were on a walk on Roxburgh Drive. Fox Live's Alex Whitler joins us live. Alex, what can you tell us? Yeah, well, the suspect is in custody. The person who was in the car with him at the time of that hit and run is not facing any charges. But those two women at last check are still in critical condition. A weekend walk can work wonders on your physical and mental health. But this Saturday, two women left the house not knowing a car would soon send them to the hospital. It's a residential area. There's no sidewalks in the area. Our victims were walking on the left side of the roadway to the left, um, facing oncoming traffic as both best practices for safety and state law require for pedestrians in an area where there is no sidewalk. Police say it happened in this Roswell neighborhood around 6.30 a.m. Someone who they describe as a passerby noticed two elderly women badly hurt on Roxburgh Drive. The women were taken to the hospital for treatment and at last check are recovering. Police say it's not clear what the driver was doing before the dangerous crash, although they say it's clear he did not stop after, leaving nothing but a broken rear view mirror behind. That's part of why we were able to resolve this case so quickly through the combination of both good old fashioned police work and modern policing technologies that we brought to Roswell. Police used license plate readers to find Gerardo Ordaz of Norcross that same day. Now, Ordaz faces several charges, including two counts of hit and run and another for driving without a license. Now, we did speak to someone who's likely a loved one of one of those two women. He was clearly upset because, naturally, he wants to make sure they're going to be okay. Reporting in Roswell, Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News.